without a swastika Came from the cross as an adolescent from an adolescent Stayed on top of the things that made me feel like I was on the bottom Like I was born a problem, rather die a leader I don't wanna follow Hoping I can write forever, my immortal column is well for all us Blocker, the world or blogger After our devilish ways, we pray to our father Is that proper? Mother Earth is God's daughter They don't know the signs, we so defined We don't know the signs when we be multiplying We get so divided And no assignments completed when no consignment Moment of silence cause we had talked about it See I ain't afraid to admit it, I just Praise the Lord, everybody. My name is Elder James Carter. I am the executive producer of Too Real For You drama series. My name is Ellen Pepper. I am from Zanesville, Ohio. We are doing uh, Too Real For You, uh, season one, Devil With A Smile. And um, I play Counselor Janice in that project. Hello, my name is Whitney Stockwell. I am 28 years old. I am from Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and I've been acting since I was 12 years old. I am currently on a show called Devil with a Smile, and my character name is Cheryl Stow. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dorian Thomas, and I'm portraying the character of Mike in the upcoming gospel television series known as Devil with a Smile. It's a sitcom written by evangelist Erlina Gilbert Weaver. Praise the Lord. My name is Andrea Southard, and I'm here to introduce myself as uh, Sister Rose in the sitcom Devil with a Smile. That's my character. Move along. Hello. My name is Teresa Guilford, and I play the role of Monica Stevens. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just looking at how I look on this camera, and... I need to sprouse it up a little bit, so I'll be right back. Hello, how you doing? My name is Phyllis Jordan, and I am one of the cast members of Devils with a Smile. I play the role of Sister Yvonne. Hello, everyone. I would like to introduce myself and the character in which I will be playing in the Two Real For You ministry production of Devil With a Smile. My name is Heather Fagan, and I play Attorney Ellis. Attorney Ellis not only attends the family church, but she is also the family attorney in which she holds many secrets or she handles the business affairs of many of the church members or a lot of people within the community. But that's Attorney Ellis and you will see quite a bit of her and understand probably the significance of her role within the, within the series and the production as it unfolds. Thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to working not only with my castmates, but as well as making great production, great film for you to see and watch. Thanks. Have a good one. In Devil with a Smile, you said I portray the pastor of Lovestone Church, and my job there, you said, is also will be able to keep all my sheep and peeps under one fold. I play a counselor. I am counseling uh, some women that come from uh, halfway home, some of them come from prison, some of them come from mental facilities where they're trying to get their life back together and I am playing a part in helping them get their lives straight. The thing that really stood out to me with this character is that in some of the processing with the, um, the women that she's dealing with, um, I've been able to draw on personal experiences for my own life. Cheryl is a very different type of chick. Um, she loves God. She is a woman who's after God's own heart. You know, Cheryl is a safe person. Um, you know, she's one of those women who does everything by the book. Um, she does not take any risk at all. She's the little sister to Canastas, but in Cheryl's mind, she's really the big sister. And Cheryl is a real estate agent, and she is also one of the women, along with her sister, who who runs a safe haven home for women, which is a second chance program for women, you know, trying to get off drugs, who just got out of jail, who's just trying to, you know, get back into life and get back into the swing of things. Cheryl is also a hopeless romantic. Um, she is hoping that one day God sends her bow ass and she's not gonna, you know, settle for anything less than that. Um, so, you know, one day Cheryl wakes up and she meets a man who she thinks is sent from God. But 
he turns out to be a real devil with a smile. So you see Cheryl kind of go through a lot of things. She goes through twists and turns and she goes through ups and downs and she goes through a lot of emotions because she's really in love with this man and she thinks that he is the one for her. So you, you just have to watch to see <laughs> how it all plays out. So what can I say about Mike? Well, for starters, the character of Mike is a bit confusing. And the reason I say he's confusing is because although his character comes across as a bad guy, his heart is, is pure. He has a, a heart of gold. I mean, he he's just like many other guys who really want to be loved, but at the same time, a lot of the decisions he makes, unfortunately, uh, causes a lot more damage than it does help for many people, even those, especially those that he loves. At the same time, because of his background, he has become a manipulator. Uh, he grew up in the streets, and not only did he grow up in the streets, but because he grew up in the streets, he deals with drugs and alcohol, you know, just partying, just the party life. It's pretty much the as they say, life in the fast lane. Um, I'm Sister Rose, Waitress Rose, and Usher Rose, but overall, I am Sister Rose, and um, what I have to say, I can say it here, I can say it out there, I can say it wherever I choose to. I am a woman of God. I'm a holy woman. I use my all to cast out the demons. I love my character. I'm Sister Mary's right-hand friend. Like, there's nothing that you could do to my sister in Christ. That's my first lady, Sister uh, Mary. Uh, she's a great woman of God and I love her to death. So I play the role that I am her protector besides God. I am the one to feel like I am right there for her. Nobody can do nothing to her. Nobody can mess over her. I'm always praying for somebody. Everything that you can imagine that goes on it's going on in this devil's with a smell. I'm telling you, I cannot wait for you guys to see it. This is just going to just bless some souls. It's going to change some lives. That's who sister Yvonne is. I got my sister's back. Amen. Well, Monica Stevens, um, that character, I loved playing her, and I love playing, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with her in the next following seasons and how we develop the character more. Um, definitely, this was a challenge for me that I wanted to take on, and part of acting, I feel like that to grow, you know, to definitely take on different characters that you're uncomfortable with, to push yourself a little further, helps just your craft. So with Monica Stevens... Ooh, child, I don't even know. It's so much about her. We could probably write a book on just her by itself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, she definitely has a lot of issues, and she's very smart. That's one of the things, is she's a very mm -hmm. smart girl. Um, even though she grew up on the street, she definitely has street smarts, book smarts, as well as um, charisma about herself. Mm -hmm. um, she knows how to carry herself like a lady, and then she knows how to turn on the men in her life as well and make them do what she wants them to do. She just has that little bit of twist to make them turn on and uh, do what she needs them to do at that particular moment. Uh, Monica definitely comes from a background of abuse in every shape, form that you could think of. Not just one um, type of typical type of abuse, but she comes from mental, physical, emotional, um, spiritual, just abuse. They all come with something in life, but the issues of life um, and how to get over them as well and how people, how cunning the devil can really be and how he'll trick the mind of, a, of an individual because Monica was tricked. This is Goes on.